So recently I shared that I updated my portfolio to include some copywriting work that I've done in the past. So one of the things that maybe you might be interested in, well, you might be thinking, well, how do I even land freelance copywriting clients? Well, let's look at the steps to land those clients in 2023. I do have a blog post on elnakane.com, so we'll go through that. I recently wrote that and I showed definitely some proof of the email copywriting that I've done here. So let's go through some basic ways to find these copywriting clients. The first is to use job boards. I'm always a big proponent for job boards. Using the right job boards can yield really good copywriting work and freelance writing work. So you can use something like Superpath. They mostly have freelance writing work, but every now and then you can see something like here is a marketer personal assistant and they do want someone that's excellent in copywriting. So even though they might not say they need a copywriter, they need someone with good copywriting experience. So that's something to consider. There's also Contena. Contena is a premium job board. I do have a review on Contena, so make sure you check that video out after this one. But they do have some great copywriting gigs like this this one right here for a career resource copywriter that pays around 4,000 a month. So that's kind of nice. So one of the pros of using Contena is that it has a lot of exclusive listings that aren't all found on free job sites. Be aware of that. Yes, they do curate from free job sites, but they also curate from company pages too. So that's also nice. This is more than just a job board. If you want to get into Contena, they have a publishing platform. They have, they have a university they have a coach, all that great stuff. They have a section on who's hired writers in the past and how much they paid. So it's kind of nice. And the only con is that it is pricey. So you need to gain, I'd say two to three copywriting clients to get that initial money to sign up to Contena if you want to do it that way. You can also sign up to Contena, then land the copywriting gigs, and then it'll pay for itself. You can do that as well. The next job board is Ed2010. They do call themselves the Talent Fairy. They don't always have copywriting jobs. It's more editorial magazine type of jobs, but you never know they might need a senior copywriter they might need a copy editor things like that so always keep a bookmark for this job board and i do have some tips on getting copywriting clients with no experience so many writers have had success getting clients without experience so i have a section here of abadaya landed an e-commerce copying job using a job board so you need to get on indeed he's saying get copywriting jobs or one of the other million job boards and land a client fast you can do fast whether you have a portfolio or not i did it. I got my first client an e-commerce niche on a job board with a mere portfolio sample. So he had one sample and he was able to get an e-commerce copywriting job that probably paid pretty well. My suggestion is to check the job boards twice a day. Do it when you first wake up, then do it right before you go to bed. I want you to get to know the company that's hiring. So when you find a job on a job board, then start looking at the company and other places, social media, on LinkedIn, to see how big the company is, to see what's going on. So plot has 11 employees so it's a smaller company which tells me that they probably don't have the budget for me but they would have a budget for a new freelance copywriter i want you to create a pitching process that's something that can help you be consistent with finding work on job sites so develop a template of sorts have a list of the things that you look for in a job start using that to streamline your process when you are finding copywriting clients now the next way is to use linkedin and on linkedin you can search for copywriting jobs just like just go to the job section type in copywriter and then you can see what's available my suggestion is to type something like freelance copywriter you want like a freelancer instead of like being remote so that's something to look into i don't use this version very often because it yields things from canada so it's a little bit different i want to work with clients all around the world but I mean, I'm open to it. I do have a Canadian flag on my title on LinkedIn to show that I am Canadian. So I am open to working with Canadian companies, but I just don't want to only source from Canadian companies. You can also find niche companies and see if they need writers. You can first go to Google, find those companies, and then go to LinkedIn to find those companies on LinkedIn to get more information about them. You can look at their job section to see if they need a copywriter and it looked like, you know, Contact Monkey has a gig for a copywriter right there. So that can help you. It's a little bit more time consuming because you have to gather your list of leads first and then put 
them all into LinkedIn and then check to see, you know, the information about them, see if they have any jobs that they're hiring at that moment. If they're not, you can still cold pitch to them. You can still do things for that company to help them so that they can hire you. And then you can search copywriting clients in posts. So you can go to the post section. You can do this with like the Boolean searches. So you can use and or not. It's up to you. You can also just put the term and freelance writer or freelance copywriter position opportunity and then get some hits that way. So here's an example for hiring a senior brand copywriter to join their team to guide the, ooh, that's in French. I can't say that. Brand voice across all vertical channels and paid media. And they have a link to the posting. So you can go into that and see if that's something for you. The next way is to optimize your LinkedIn bio for more copywriting gigs. The one thing you must do is optimize your bio. If you don't add copywriting, then LinkedIn's going to have a hard time figuring you out. As soon as I added copywriting, I started getting copywriting opp like opportunities in my inbox. Here's one of the first ones I got once I did this a while back. I run a company at Blank and we're hiring a part-time email social media copywriter. You came up in my search. So you can see how quickly that is as soon as I added copywriter. All right. So the pros to using LinkedIn, you know, it's a business platform. So businesses will be on it. So that's good for you. It's free to use and you can find copywriting clients easily. And some cons, it is a social media platform. So it can be addictive. It is oversaturated with other freelancers and it might be hard to connect to a company if the contact person is on LinkedIn premium. So you might run the risk of finding the right contact person, but you cannot connect with them. So some more tips with using LinkedIn, you can write specific LinkedIn posts. Uh, one thing's I learned over the years is you can share your expertise on LinkedIn as a way to gain massive views. So I did a post on what B-level writing work looks like and how I don't deliver that type of work. So you can see here and it got 3000 impressions. So as a freelancer and blogger, I've hired SEO people, writers and graphic designers. I'll still pay you for B type of work as long as you can communicate regularly or accountable of your work and are easy to work with. And then I go into some other things, but yeah, so I talk about that and you can look at your analytics. There's a little section in your post to look at analytics and you can see who's viewing your post. And for me, for that one, it pulled in 30 uh, founders were looking at that post and founders are people that founded companies, you know? So that's interesting to me that founders are looking at my post. You wanna comment on, I, on your ideal client post. So when you see them in your feed, comment on them. So like I follow CMO Brian Law of Animals on LinkedIn. And so he writes really thought provoking posts and I will comment on them. Okay, find those marketing officers, find those CMOs and follow them so that you can read their posts. Try to post intentionally. I do have my LinkedIn client attractor, LinkedIn prompts that I have here, over 60 LinkedIn prompts to help you post intentionally. It is part of my client attractor bundle. So you can definitely take a look at that. I'll put a link in the description below for that. But that just gives you, you know, prompts to start off for LinkedIn so that you can write those intentional posts to help you land client work. Now, the next way to find freelance copywriting clients in 2023 is through cold emailing. Now, this is one of the best ways to get copywriting clients, but I'll be the first to tell you that I was unsuccessful with cold pitching. Why? Well, it's time consuming for me. You have to send hundreds of cold pitches to see an ROI from your work. And with cold emailing, you are finding the businesses in your writing niche and then cold emailing them your LOI, your little letter of introduction, your pitch to see if they need a writer for their marketing strategy. And then you might be Think, well, I mean, if it's time consuming, why can't I just use like chat GPT to create a pitch? Well, I'd be careful with that. It's pretty generic. So I show you the generic pitch that chat GPT gave me. So just be aware that there's no, there's no run around. There's no shortcut to this whole process of cold pitching. It is time consuming doing some cold pitching on the side, but it, like I said, it, I'm not investing in it and it is time consuming for me. It's not my favorite method to land copywriting work or even freelance work. So some tips with cold pitching, you know, make sure your message is well crafted. You want to have a lasting impression that's memorable. So finding the right contact person, knowing their name all helps and the brand. You want to include specific examples, have those samples that are specific to that brand. If you are reaching out to a social media marketing ag agency, your content should fit on their blog. And it, all they talk about is Instagram. Well, then you better have some Instagram samples to show them. And so another thing you can do is this trick by Michael Walsh. 
he says an underutilized tactic for copywriting is to do some work and send the owner. So rewrite a website about page and then send it to them saying he's getting practice and if they think he did a good job, he can rewrite it the entire site for them. So that's kind of a neat trick. You know, go ahead if you belong to an email from a, you know, influencer or whatever, rewrite the email, send to them. Same thing with the website copy, he said, to a blog post or a Facebook post or a LinkedIn post. Uh, those do well. A lot of people need help with writing LinkedIn posts because they're now getting longer and longer. Twitter's posts are getting longer and longer. So those are things that you can offer as a copywriter. And you can do sort of that trick of snazzing it up and then sending to the potential client to see if they will like it and then they can hire you. And then the next way to find freelance writing clients is through social media. I do have a video from Cold Pitch to Writing Jobs. You can take a look at how that happens on getting work through social media. Those are basically it. You know, with social media, you have to be present. You have to build your readership. You have to build your brand and all that on social media so that you can get those copywriting clients. And that's what happened to me. So make sure to check out that video after this one. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about how to get freelance copywriting clients. I hopefully I touched on all those points. If you haven't already, you can enroll in my free course, Get Paid to Write, where I give you the tools necessary to land your first freelance writing client. That's what you want to start out with. All right. And make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.